Yo, what's up? This is Mr. McGee, a.k.a. Boopy, a.k.a. Born Rich, and you are listening to the Born Rich Club podcast. Make sure you go over to YouTube and support us on the YouTube platform. Just search Born Rich Club podcast. Give us a like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. And guys, without further ado, enjoy. Hey, yo, what's up, man? It's your boy, Lando XL, Mr. 18 Pockets. And, yo, what's up? It's your boy, Mr. McGee, a.k.a. Boopy, a.k.a. Born Rich and Lano. What up, though? We in the building, baby. We got uh, another guest, another fire show, man. Um... Hold on, how do, how do yeah. I want to say this, man? You better because say that shit right. You said it earlier. So today we got the queen in the building. Yep. You feel me? We got somebody who put in work for a long time in these hip-hop streets, man. Most in definitely. these Tennessee streets, you Fuck understand you me? About. Man, we got a woman uh, who, she made a mark all over the world, man. She's been uptown, downtown, around town. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? And yeah. she, she came to uh, bless, bless our podcast, man, so... I really want to want y'all to show some love for a uh, little chat is in the building. What's what up, though? Yeah, yeah. Clap it up, clap it up, goddamn! Clap it up, gotta get the sound effect. Yeah, yeah. Look, I do all that. Fuck you, talking about chat in the building. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How's how's it going, chat? Everything going all right. Thanks for having me. Most definitely. Now it's a it's our pleasure to have you, man. Uh, because I've been a fan for. Uh, Nigga, tell over, the truth. Over 20 years. Yeah, over, tell like, the truth, nigga. Yeah, over 20 years. I followed your career. Um, I think you were one of the, the pioneers, one of the early uh, females in hip-hop. And seeing hip females is doing major moves in hip-hop now, you, you set definitely. the foundation, man. So even when historians and people talk about hip-hop, they can't talk about not only female hip-hop, but southern hip-hop, but hip-hop in general without putting your name in that conversation chat. So Most that's definitely. why it was a must that we get you on this platform, man, to give you your flowers. So I appreciate it, man. Yeah, and I, he know cry y'all, he, he showed look, look, he been crying. <laughs> look, we was in the streets, this nigga knew your whole verse. Like, here we get in the car, he'll rap your whole verse. That's like, nigga, quit rapping me up first, nigga. Goddamn, nigga. Ain't no nah, nigga. that's well, a fact. I always fact. say I make nigga bitch music. Okay, hold on. Yeah. What? <laughs> nigga bitch music. That means music that niggas and bitches can bump. Most definitely. Yeah, I, I know like I know what you mean, <laughs> but <laughs> okay, but damn. I like I like the uh the the, 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 the uh what, what you call that? He the small one on yeah. the show. <laughs> I like the way she put it. She yeah, like, nigga yeah. bitch music. That's it. Yeah. That's it. True Makes though. That's because, true. Because I do my shows and the niggas be singing them more than the bitches. Yes, yeah. word, most definitely. Whoop that hoe. All them songs. That's the thing. It's, yeah. it's memorable. It's memorable. Your bars are memorable, man. Yeah, so uh, thank you for uh, sitting down with us, though, Chad. If we start in the beginning, though, your uh, your music career. Now, I heard it was a, a high in high school or something when you first started rapping. Really in elementary. Okay. Uh, third grade, you know, uh, it was an accident. Accidentally, uh, rap. Uh, like I tell everybody, I did, you know, other interviews, but I, yeah, I tell the same story because it's the truth. Okay. Okay. So third grade, they had a Black History program mm -hmm. and Black History Month, and the teacher was like, uh, everybody got to bring in some Black History. So I think I was like a day away from the uh before the project need to be uh -huh. in, uh -huh. and I got an older brother, uh, rest in peace, he dead now, uh, rest in peace, Curtis. So um, I was like, dog, I ain't got no project. He's like. Yes, you do. I was like, nah, don't. He's like, you gonna say a rap? I'm like, I don't know how to rap. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was like, yeah. you gonna say a rap? I was like, no, I ain't. So he ended up saying, uh, he wrote the rap. And once he wrote it, and then he said it, and then I had to learn it. You mm -hmm. wanna hear it? Yeah, 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 yeah. wanna hear it. Here go. Let's get it. Dr. Martin Luther King, this very day. All the people just love him for what he say and whatever he say. He says it out loud, his voice you know just draws the crowd. See, yeah. it all started out not long ago. Dr. Martin Luther King, you was a kid, you didn't know. He had a dream, and his dream came true. He was fighting for the rights for me and you. He got bottles and bricks thrown in his face, but Dr. Martin Luther King never ran away. He's okay. the greatest of the greatest. He's the king of all. He's Dr. Martin Luther King standing brave and tall. Yeah. <laughs> and you did all that right. You did the people yeah. stands and all that right. Okay. Yeah, most definitely. And so. I went back to school and I was like, oh Lord, everybody got poster boards and big exhibits and stuff. Yeah. I was like, Todd, I'm gonna with this rap. I don't know where I'm gonna look, how this gonna go. Mm -hmm. But they said, Chastity Daniels, like, come on over. I walked up there. 
and I said my rap, and I got a yeah. standing ovation. Yeah. Hell yeah. And an A plus, and I thought I was a rapper. Yes, so yes. right then, that, that was your motor, that was your validation right there mm -hmm. then, right? As soon as you got up there, you rocked it, and then you said, you know what? This is what I'm about to do. Yeah. Okay. Nah, nah, I love it. I love it. So, um... <laughs> How did you uh how did you get uh introduced to uh Triple Triple Six? Uh, well, you know? uh Triple Six they always was an underground uh group. They mm -hmm. were, they had Memphis on lock just with tapes and uh cassette tapes and mixtapes and mm -hmm. stuff. And uh Cat Knight Lil Noir, he was signed with Juicy J already and um we was going to summer school. I think I was like in the ninth eighth, ninth grade, something like that. But uh he was like, I'm gonna give your uh, number to Juicy. We did talent shows. He won okay. first place, I won second. Okay. Of course he won first because he was already known. Yeah. So from third but, grade you started already. So after you did that in school and said this is what I feel to be, you started getting into talent shows then. Yeah, I started doing okay. talent shows. Okay. I started um performing on Beer Street. I first I did an album with my cousin, shout out Gang Gang Big Pat. Okay. Uh, and it was called Big Girl Things, but it's out now. It's called Ultimate Revenge. People okay. might think that album came out the Murder She Spoke, but it really was done before Murder She Spoke. That's the album that really um, my cousin them end up then piling them here. That's another story. Okay. 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 So <laughs> from the beginning, uh, Lenore was like, "I'm gonna get Juicy your number." I was like, "Okay, you gonna get Juicy my number?" Yeah. But anyway, he ended up giving Juicy my number. And then he ended up, uh, one day, I was at home, staying with my mama, and I got a phone call. He's like, what's up, what's up, what's up, this is Juicy. I was like, hello? He's like, I heard you can rap. I was like, uh, yeah, I can rap. He was like, let me hear something, let me hear something. I'm yeah. like, uh, my yeah. mama at home. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, Juicy J at this time is Juicy, right? He wasn't Juicy. They was underground. Yeah. They still was underground. Okay, But they okay. was major in Memphis. Like, Memphis okay. people only bumped Memphis, Memphis back then. Yeah. And so, um... He was like, I heard you can rap. I was like, he was like, I like, he like, I thought you can rap. I thought you wanted to rap. I was like, dog, he hung up. Mm -hmm. I was like, dog, I missed my chance. Yeah. So after that, he ended up calling back at 12 o'clock midnight. I'll never forget. He was like, hey, what's up? This is Jordan. I was like, hey, he was like, juicy. I heard you can rap. He was smoke, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. He's like, let me hear something. This time I went down the outside, down the driveway, around the corner, Damn. around another corner. Yeah. <laughs> Mama don't and know I, you rapping like yeah. this yet. And I spit that shit like no other. He was yeah. like, damn, you can't rap. He was like, I want to get you on something. And like two days later, he pulled up. He pulled up with the little recorder thing that you could put record and play. Yeah. He record. Damn. Uh -huh. And the microphone like that that you put on it, you yeah, know, the record yeah, and yeah, the headphones yeah. in my living room. He recorded uh, the song Pop Out Till You Drop. Matter of fact, it's on YouTube now. It was me crunching and juicy. Okay. And um, from that point on, you know, I was able to rap. Damn. That's just the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course that's just <laughs> the beginning, yeah, but just like, but how it all come game. together, though. Because, right? <laughs> yeah, because we remember you, you know, pressing it. He was trying to be a rapper. Yeah. yeah. He yeah. wasn't good yeah. like that, though. He tried to be a rapper, though, Chad. Uh, he tried, yeah, man. Shit, but. <laughs> I did try to be a rapper, but no, I love that story, man, because that's old school. Back it in is. the day, where they say, "Man, you know how to rap? Spit some, spit some." Yeah, yeah, yeah you got to write that yeah. off. Yeah. And we listen to um, Memphis music. For me, yeah. I got the I got to have a um, I had an older brother, and I had to share a room with him. And this is in the early '90s, right? So a lot of Memphis music that came out. I don't know how he got his hands on, <laughs> but he had his hands on so many Memphis rap. So I remember when they was the underground, but some of their music was coming up here a little bit. Just a lot. And there was a, mm -hmm. a lot of other people coming from mm -hmm. Memphis, music that was coming up here and that we was listening to and stuff like that. So I remember when Memphis, because I always tell people, we've been listening to Memphis music for me since the early 90s. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. For sure. Absolutely. The first, uh, I know the first three six uh, uh, CD or uh, tape I remember him was it was it uh, Mystic Mystic Styles Mystic or something? Styles. Was you on that one? Of course, I was on that. Yeah, one. yeah I okay. Straight news. That's when that's when I first came along. I got yeah. the end of it. Yeah, you know, I was on the Posse song. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and then yeah, yeah my mama, my mama kind of knew I rap, but she didn't. She used to mm -hmm. always uh, ramble in my room and find my little raps and say, yeah. "Who writing this stuff? Yeah. <laughs> who you writing this stuff to?" Yeah. I just be like, "Oh Lord, who doing all this cussing? <laughs> who you who you doing?" I was like, Lord. "So talk about growing up with your mom. So like, who you like? Who was all in the household with Chad? 
Uh, I had, uh, it was four of us, um, mm-hmm. three brothers and me. I was the baby. Okay. And, um, I had an older brother and the other two older too, but my older brother got killed back in 1989. Okay. He was 21. And um, other than that, I was the baby. So I just, I, I got my little, little tomboyish ways, but yeah. at the same time, you know, I got my little, my little hood classic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I still was raised by my mom. My mom, you know, I wasn't from the hood. hood. Okay. My mom okay. always made sure we had something to eat. Uh, she, she matter of fact, she retired as a sergeant uh, okay. from a correctional center, you know. So she always kept my hair done because we couldn't do her. So yeah, she yeah. always kept my hair done. And uh, she always made sure I had everything. It's just as I got older, I got bored. You know, I'm okay. the only girl. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I'm the only girl. And so, of course, you know, Met a nigga, which ended up being my baby daddy, mm-hmm. and I ended up just started running the streets, and that's how the street got into me. But so, I was never raised raised in the street. So, what part of Memphis you from? I'm from uh, Westwood, but I grew up and I was born in South Memphis. Okay, South Memphis. Okay, take me to the time when I heard you just say Mystic Styles, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was your first project, like. You about to be recognized. Yeah. How how what what's the transition of going from the baby girl in the house to now you're about to be nationally known? Like you're pushing you to the forefront. What's your transition and how you feel? Well, I feel good, you know. Like I said, I had caught the end because DJ Paul and Juicy J, they were separate at first. And mm-hmm. then they ended up putting themselves together. So I was a Juicy J rapper. Like DJ Paul had his own rappers and uh Juicy See, I didn't know that. Rapper. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh Paul had Boo. Lord Infamous and Coop and um, mm-hmm. Juicy had me, Pat. Uh, I want to say he had T Rock. I ain't for sure. I don't want to put that, but you know, yeah, yeah they had their own separate rappers, okay. and then they ended up putting them together. But Mr. Style was already done, but I ended up catching the end tail. But it was cool, you know. Because cool. you getting love now, right? Because once you on that type of project, because they already selling units. Mm-hmm. I still want taking it serious then, though. Oh, you know, so because I like I said. I just like I was just a good girl that went bad, you know. Always when you meet a dude, like you know how those girls yeah. be, you know I was in the streets. He was in the streets. Yeah, so I'm in the streets with him. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Still want to take music serious, so you know that's why I was just only on, on Mr. Styles at the time. So I'm sitting up here kicking it with my baby dad and ran around toting pistols and rolling yeah. up blunts and doing all this shit. <laughs> yeah. and one good day, shit. No, bad nah, shit. I'm saying, when, it's bad. It's bad, bad, but I'm just shit. saying. <laughs> it's bad shit when one day I look on the news and see these folks that sign with loud records, and I'm like, wait a minute. They ain't yeah. called you. I'm like, God, no, I wouldn't call me either. I'm sitting up yeah, here riding yeah. around with guns. Oh, they know you. They know you participate moving around like this. Yeah, but they don't know what I was doing because yeah. it was pretty much like I AWOL. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I didn't yeah, I AWOL. You. I just wasn't taking it serious. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Like when everybody else going to the studio, mm-hmm. I'm still being a street girl. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Happened. So I look on the news like, wait a minute. These folks, you see them, they getting signed a loud record. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, damn, wait a minute. That's my group. Yeah, most definitely. <laughs> you know? When you start taking it serious? Um... After I saw them getting signed, really, you know, I just kept on rapping. That's when... Um, Cause they were still fucking with you even though you weren't taking it serious, right? They were still trying to fuck with me. Yeah. I just, you know, Juice would call me, say he want me to come to the studio, and I'd be like, okay, but I'm riding on Beer Street with my nigga. Yeah, we yeah, flicking yeah. then, you know, yeah. so I ain't, <laughs> I ain't going to the studio. And so after that, like I said, uh, shout out my cousin, Big Pat and Gang Gang. We end up doing an album, which now is called Ultimate Revenge. And, I uh, saw that. Yeah, so if you can listen, I sound very young because mm-hmm. it ended up coming out after the fact because once I got signed with them, they couldn't put it out. But mm-hmm. we ended up doing that, and then my cousin was like, I want to let Juice and them hear it. I was like, okay. And so he let Juice and them hear it. Juice and was like, well, Chad, we want you back, you know? And yeah. I was oh, like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. because they, they was already in motion. Mm-hmm. And so I kept on doing what I was doing, performing on Bill Street, performing in places in Memphis, and then... They gave the album to him, and then they was like, Chat, yeah, we want you to come to the studio. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, okay. Hell yeah. And that's how I got back, because I was like, damn, these people got signed. It's really money and this shit. I'm bullshitting over here with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is, that easy? is it easy to get caught up like that, though? Like, once you do, like, what, drop something, and then you know you got the talent? Is it, is it, is it easy for artists? Like, have you seen other artists that do that? Like just slip and started not being focused. Yeah, all the time. I'm pretty sure it's a lot of people that uh, feel my story. You mm-hmm. know, feel like yeah. dog. You know, they missed their chance, not mm-hmm. taking it serious because yeah. 
Rapping is just something that we might just choose to do or say that we can do, but not knowing that you really can make it in this shit. Like, mm. if you stay focused and, and stay at it, especially if you got a plug. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I was young, you know, but as I yeah, got back. Yeah, you had a back, plug, baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, you had, yeah, you, you had it. So you, it's different when you got somebody who will say, Man, I feel like Lano listen to that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, man, Lano, yeah. man, I ain't gonna get my shit to the store. That's it. But you got somebody say, man, I'm gonna let, I feel like Juicy hear your shit. Yeah, I'm young. I'm looking at them. They just a bunch of niggas that want to rap. I choose yeah. to be with my nigga. Then yeah. to be around this. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. All the time, I'm missing the bankroll. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's how that went. So, so eventually, you just said, all right, let me stop playing and let me go ahead and jump on this train. So now you jump on the uh, uh you jump on the train with what's, what's it called Hyp- hypnotized camp hypnotized camp yeah hypnotized, hypnotized camp hypnotized yeah that mm-hmm. made me smile right yeah the, the grim reaper thing with the logo right yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. so all right so now y'all so now you after uh mystic styles and then they do the deal what was uh next for you was it album time yet or no nope. what was next uh Pat came to me was like Chad what's up I'm like what's up he was like man I got a song I want to put you on I okay. was like. Okay, he was like, I want you to roast me. Matter of fact, we gonna roast each other. I was mm-hmm. like, he was like, it's called chicken head. <laughs> I was like, chicken head. <laughs> he was like, yeah. I was like, okay. And so um, he ended up going in there writing his eight balls, and he left me blank. Mm-hmm. And I come in there, like, I'm listening to him, like, okay, so some people think that we wrote it together. Some people might think, yeah. I wrote, no. See, so yeah. he dropped his eight balls, and then I had to come in and respond. Mm. And so after I heard what he said, so I came on in and I had to say what I say. Okay. And Chickenhead came out and it was the first platinum plat that uh Human Task Camp oh, so that, Mafia got. Oh, okay. So that did go platinum. It went platinum. Let me ask you this. You okay, he recorded, then you recorded, right? Mm-hmm. Now y'all finished. Space ball music get blast for the first time. Instantly hit, did you what your ears say? We didn't have a clue. We just was laughing. We did not have a clue that, because matter of fact, Chicken Head was still keeping me in the game in 2024. Okay. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we didn't have a clue that it was going to be as big. Y'all remember the box that used to come on yeah. TV channel? Yep. That yep. was the first video that got played on there. Like, Chicken Head opened up a whole lot of doors for uh, 3 Six Mafia and yeah, Test definitely. Camp. So. We didn't have a clue that it was gonna be that big. Damn! But it was that big. I don't think I don't think you never know, right? Until but it, cause you making mute cause this is going from your didn't know you can do it. Now you doing it, and now it's at a elite level now. Yeah, cause we started doing uh, talk shows and. Um, Hell yeah! I remember seeing nah, y'all on the talk show. <laughs> I can't remember that white woman name. Jenny Jones. Jenny Jones. I swear <laughs> to God, I remember. Show. Listen, I Jenny still Jones. remember, man. I remember that. I remember y'all yeah. was on Jenny Jones, mm-hmm. and I was like, "Damn!" Because at that time, talk shows was big. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Damn, they was on fucking Jenny. Hell Jones. yeah, they was I on Jenny that. Jones. I still remember, I remember that too, that. man. Mm-hmm. I remember another thing. I remember because that song was on uh, Mister Mister Don't Play. Mister Don't Play. No skips on that CD. No skips. Shout no out Project fucking Pat, skips. Man. He's man. my favorite. No album. skips, bro. Facts. You can put that on the day. There's no skips. Bro. Project Project Pat locked in with me. He told me he gonna. He said he gonna come up here. He, said, <laughs> he gonna come up here. We got. We got to get Pat. But um. I, I mean, I, I just want to ask this real quick, real quick, I know. I just want to ask, like, what, what's the, um, I know <laughs> you said you did Jenny Jones, but, like, how far did that song take you? What's one one place that you looked up and was like, damn, we really here right now because of this damn song? Shoot, 2024. Mm, yeah. 2024. Mm. I'm really still mm. here because of this damn song. Yeah, that's, you know yeah. for so, sure though. I'm still getting and broke. not just for this song, but this song most definitely most is definitely. a um. You gotta, you gotta close your set with this. Yeah, because this is what you know, they, uh, what is it that you do the cameos and all yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. And, and people yeah. always say we love your verse on Chicken Head. Can you do this? Do this? Yeah. You know, so yeah. they let me know that that's one of the biggest impacts. Oh hell yeah! Listen, yeah, yeah, that's that my first. I'm gonna be honest right here, y'all. Y'all, y'all know how I get, man. So <laughs> I'm gonna say this: Chicken Head, Lil Chat verse, come on. It's probably my first female rap that I knew about her, right? <laughs> you probably know every word. Yeah, right yeah, now. yeah, yeah. Like, I, yeah. like, look, I didn't play. Like, I know Mia X is my favorite. Yes, shout out Gangsta Mia X. Boo, yes. my favorite. Shout out Boo. Yes, yes. you my favorite. Look, I'm, I'm a down south nigga, right? So, but when I listen to when I listen to Chicken Head, bro, because yeah. we started it over all the time because how the beat come in and how the beat drop. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We, we, we got speakers in the trunk. Yeah, we excited. We was young niggas at this That's time, right? We in the streets. 
but we always played this song, but we never turned your verse out. <laughs> because but we we niggas, so we'll turn, you know what I'm saying? Usually like we'll listen to Trick Daddy and then Trina come on, we might, you know what I'm saying? No disrespect yeah. to Trina, we fuck with yeah. Trina. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you know what I mean? Like when it's chat verse come on, goddamn, we playing it. And we <laughs> rapping that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Nah, so real, 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 real good song. Real good song. Nigga bitch song. <laughs> nigga, bi- nigga bitch music. Yeah. Nigga yeah. bitch music. I'm sorry, yeah. Tyler, man. Beep all this stuff out, man. <laughs> for YouTube won't kick our ass, man. Yeah. But um So all right, so y'all do the song Chicken Head. Um I know it got the, the streets going crazy. Um was it after that song? Was it album time for you? It was about no. time. No. Okay. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. Paul and Juice are geniuses. You know, okay. they they got they not just gonna sing. They gonna build you up. Yeah. Okay. They had the speech ready for you. So, for one, shout out Pat. He put me on tour with him, which he didn't have to. And I was just on tour making money doing that little one verse. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Okay. So, yeah. Uh, we was on tour buses. We um we did other videos and stuff. So after the tour, um. You know, they got the Hematized Camp Posse album mm-hmm. came out. I was on there. You know, they had various projects that they put me on. And then they was found like, chat, look, we ready to do your album. You mm-hmm. in demand. I'm like, I'm in demand. You know, keep in mind, I'm taking it serious, but I'm just a ghetto child trying to make it. Uh, I ain't yeah. taking yeah. it serious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just a ghetto I child trying to make it. I ain't just, I was, you know, I'm just like. You I'm, humble, you really. Know, yeah. You being I'm humble. Not, I'm not knowing what's going on, you know, so. They like Jeff and the album, and he's like, man, matter of fact, we found a, a record company that wanna sign. They was like, Cot. So I was like, okay. So we did the contract. Uh, we started on Murder She Spoke. Mm-hmm. And um, man, I had to go to the studio seven days a week, Sunday through Sunday, seven o'clock. Mm. Uh, was you used to this right here at this time? Uh, I didn't wanna go. Mm. <laughs> Once again. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Once again, I'm like, oh, we gotta be at the studio, and they was like, we had to be there, but we had something to drop or not. So, um, not only that, remember we had, uh, that's how we was able to put out so many projects. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We had Juicy J dropping projects, uh, yeah. Paul dropping projects, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. Gangsta Boo solo definitely. albums, and all that because we never knew what they were gonna go on. We just had to record. And then they'll put the albums together. You never know if you're going to make the album or not. That makes so, sense, though. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, makes yeah, sense. That makes so sense. So we had to be at the studio every day, seven days like, a week. Even if we ain't dropping shit. Even if we ain't dropping. So, um, and the only thing I had, we had to be at 7 o'clock until. Yeah, you don't never <laughs> 7 in the morning? <laughs> no, 7, 7 p.m. Until. until. Yeah, you well, don't, studio yeah. life, basically, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Until. Until, Sometimes yeah, yeah, yeah. it be 3, 4 in the morning, yeah. but this was every day. So, um. You know, if all them there go up there, they'll put the beats on and um they'll leave out. See me, I was at the right in the corner. I go in the corner. I was on them butt wowsers back then. Shout out yeah. butt wowsers. <laughs> 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 so got me a little good call, butt wowsers, got in the corner wrote, dropped my uh verses and stuff, and that it was like American got talent. That's how I would come downstairs and say, Well, I'm finished. Yeah. So I just have to come upstairs and listen to it and give me a Yeah. You know, so one time, I remember the song, What Kind of Bitch Do You Want? One time, I thought uh, Juice was going to give me a note. Yeah. But he was sitting on the couch, and we played, and he was like this. And he was like, check. He was popping like a motherfucker. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he was yeah. like, we love it, man. We love it. He's like, man, you killing it with these styles yeah. with these flows. And you know, I was like, OK, you know, I ain't have a clue. But Murder, She Spoke Drop, you know. And you write your own music, too, right? Of course. No ghostwriters. So is that, is that a big thing? Was that a is that a big thing to you? What do you mean? Writing your own music, like you was you like you take pride in like I write my own music. Yeah, I take pride in. It. I never, I never. Um, I don't want to discredit people that got writers, but yeah. Why, why you got a write, writer and you want to be a rapper? You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You should be the writer, writer and the rapper. Yeah, that's because it's confusing and, and it's confusing in hip hop, right? With, with our genre, our genre of music. It, uh, somebody that's listening, I mean, somebody that's writing your music for you is, is frowned upon. But in other genres, you can write. Mm-hmm. It's called co writing. You know what I'm saying? So, some I, some artists that I talk to that's not reach some artists that I talk to that reach the level of success you have and not the success level, they both feel like at times they'll say, nah, I take my writing serious. 
I'm going to the corner and I'm going to write my shit. Yeah, that's what I do because I don't freestyle because I, I like to make sense. I mean, we did the basement and they holler, Chad, you going in the booth? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, Chad, going yeah. in the booth? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Brian took the start over so many times. Like, wait a minute, start over, start they over. They don't tell y'all what y'all what your, what kind of beat you're going to listen to before you no, get in there? No, it don't matter. I don't freestyle. Anyway, yeah, you're like, okay, yeah. what you play me? Yeah. yeah, I like to make sense when I write. So, But if you give me the right, you know, that two minutes is done. How long it take you to do Murder She uh, Spoke? My, I've been there like two weeks. Because mm. you going to the studio. Every day. Every day. Mm. So when they put the beat on, every beat talk to me. You know, there's the type of beats I like. I like beats that soon it come on, you automatically know what you're going to talk about. Not the ones that you got to bring out. Yeah. It take a little longer. Yeah, yeah. So so yeah. Your, when, your, when your album dropped out, what, what was the response to it back in them, day, in them days? Man, you know, back then they had bootleg albums out. Yeah, so, most know, definitely. I'm riding around. We riding around. We used to go to this little club, Dim and Dam, and hang out, Bill Street, all that. Yeah. And all of a sudden, one day I seen some girls, one night, I seen some girls jump out the car. They just wilding. And they holler, don't sing it, ho. You about to bring it, ho. And I'm yeah. like, I mean, it's me, my cousin, and we deep in my little expedition. And I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> Draw my one down. I said, damn, they bumping me. I don't even got to see these. Somebody else pull up. Damn. She's a peanut butter motherfucker. And I'm like, I'm talking about everywhere. It was like little chat from everywhere. I yeah. said, wow. They bumping me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And then I looked over at my cousin. She over here crying. I'm like, what you crying? <laughs> she had happy tears. Yeah. Happy tears. Yeah. She was like, I'm so proud of you. I'm so happy for you. Yeah. And then mine, it was like, I took off the streets. I really didn't know that it was going to do that. You know, yeah. even Paul was like, man, I'm going to tell y'all who album I can't stop bumping. My chat album. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And uh, that album still got me through 2024. Yeah, you know I what I'm saying? Because that's, that's what I, them the songs I do. And them folks still sing it word from word. Word from word. Most I might definitely. put one or two new ones in, just let them know I got some new ones. But mm -hmm. when I do a show, I come to rock it. Yeah. I don't yeah. come to bore you and make you figure out the new stuff. I want you to sing this shit. Well, you listen, yeah, I like I'm going to tell you something. This to your folks. We do a thing called Mushy Moment, right? Mm -hmm. well, I'm going to mm -hmm. tell you something. Uh, from Jazzy Sensations to the Carolines, um, these are known hip hop spots in Nashville that been around for the last. Carolines around for the last. Been, been a, it's newer, but Jazzy Sensations been around yeah, yeah. since the nineties, right? And let me tell you something. It's a. It was a club that was packed every Friday and Saturday. And let me tell you something. Every Friday and Saturday, we gonna hear a chat verse. <laughs> And that's real talk. Listen, mm -hmm. every time, look, they can have an all white party, all black party, a Christmas <laughs> party. I'm gonna tell you right now. That's a fact. We're gonna, we're gonna, it's gonna be Boosie, right? They're gonna play Boosie. Yeah. They're gonna play, um, they're gonna, they're gonna go, they're gonna play some old Jeezy. And let me tell you something, they gonna play yeah. Chat. Nah, we, we definitely rock with Chat. For we sure. Definitely rock, rock, <laughs> For rock, sure. Rock, rock, I with appreciate chat. it. So okay, so chat if we uh if I'm still going on the timeline, okay, the album comes out. Bam. You uh did you tour a lot when the album came out? Oh man, yeah, we did tour because you know we had to move choices out at the same time. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. See my album originally was supposed to have dropped in um October. But um nah, what when was now it's supposed to have dropped in September. Uh -huh. But uh nine eleven ended up happening. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, I was supposed to have been in New York on nine eleven. But Damn. nineteen, they had me a party at the studio and we got so wasted so I missed my flight. You missed your flight. Which yeah. that was God, you know. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah, that was God. Everybody that was in New York was stuck in New York and I was like, Dog woke up, looked at the T V, New York was in flying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, wow. Yeah, I remember that day. And so that made my album get pushed back to October. I think it was like October the 23rd. And we had already filmed the movie Choices, and we had the Choices soundtrack out. So mm -hmm. what uh, Paul and them did, they put the tour together. And uh, man, we was gone like three months. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> days and nights, days and nights. But, you know, it was fun. How is tour life? Tiring and fun. Give me a tour <laughs> life. Give, give, me a tour, give me a tour story that you that you haven't told yet. Something that uh, happened, something that you seen happen, or something that made you feel good, like like stepping on the stage and seeing people. Well, I like to uh, I like to talk about the good things. Okay. Uh, shoot, we got a lot of money. Yeah. We, every show was booked. Every show was packed, and uh, we had fun. What's the craziest city you went to? Um, let me think. Ah, we went to so many cities yeah. that I don't know because I know we went to one city and we had to tell the club book. 
but I don't even remember the name of it. <laughs> Y'all went yeah. to one city, told the club. <laughs> <laughs> we had to because it was like, we came to the club uh -huh. and we went in the VIP and this one we learned, like, don't never go in the club without getting your back in. Okay. And so, you know, keep in mind, Paul and them, they were still learning too. Yeah. You mm -hmm. know, so we all in the club, they come to getting us drunk, they just, we having a good time because mm -hmm. the club was packed and um, they bring us microphones and stuff and then Paul was like, wait a minute. Yeah. Everybody put the drinks down, put the microphone, these motherfuckers ain't paid us. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. so after that, he's like, wait a minute. So the dude didn't come with the money. Mm -hmm. Paul go out there and grab the mic. Y'all, they don't got our money. Y'all tear this club up. Tear that. They yeah. got to tear the club up. Everything, you know, little scribble, scribble, come, crunch, got a dude all jacked up, some dude yeah. like, man, you yeah. straight, crunch, like, no, nah, he ain't straight now, <laughs> but, you know, so. <laughs> yeah, guys, so draft that we had to make a getaway to the, uh, Truck, the uh, bus, yeah. pistols was pulled. You know, yeah, we got yeah, some yeah, wild yeah, yeah, stories. Yeah, yeah. And um, the next day, the power had to pay for that club. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, man, tear it up, but I gotta pay for it in the morning. <laughs> Tell it, what was uh, 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 choices like, man, doing that? Doing, oh, doing that movie? Man. That's your first movie, first movie, yeah. It what was, was that like? A little chat, the actress. <laughs> Like I said, it was fun, but I don't understand why we was going over the rehearsal. Like, everybody doing their part. Then when I do my part, everybody start laughing. I'm like, what's so funny? <laughs> yeah. what, like, why was they laughing? What was going on? I don't know. That's what I be trying to figure out. Like, is, it, is it because, is it, it could be like, let me ask you this. When you was around at this time with all them, are you, are you, are you the only female? I'm the only female with the only accent that I got. And so yeah. we in LA and we okay. sitting up here going over mm -hmm. the roads and everybody we got a room full and everybody saying they pop but when I say my pop everybody busts out yeah. laughing. Like, yeah, you do got an accent. accent. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, of accent. accent. That's cr and that's crazy because Glorilla getting a lot of love for yeah. the Memphis accent. That's why I feel the same. Everywhere Damn. I go, everywhere we go. One, Chad, you yeah. really would have First one. That's oh, why we yeah. call you the queen. We're going to yeah. call you That's the crazy. queen. That's crazy. I didn't even think about that. You <laughs> always definitely. had a Memphis Memphis accent. Yeah. Even real, real Memphis, Mike. Yeah. Real <laughs> Memphis, Mike. <laughs> real Memphis. It jumped bumping, Mike. Yeah. For real, for yeah. real. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Mike. <laughs> Listen, man. Shout out to Memphis, yeah, man. Listen, y'all already know. Lano Wakes, I fuck with y'all, man. Even yeah. though we done, I done been with a lot of Memphis niggas, man. And we done <laughs> had to do time, been in the streets. So yeah, shout sure. out to Memphis, man. I love Memphis, yeah, man. Sure. That's like my second home. I even, fuck with Memphis. Um, even uh, speaking about Memphis, Chad, what do you think about Memphis right now in the hip hop in the hip hop game, man? Do you like what a hip hop uh, Memphis music scene is right now? Oh, yeah, we winning. Yeah, you know, yeah, Memphis, yeah. we winners anyway. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, One thing sure. about Memphis, if you from Memphis, you a real survivor. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So... Yeah. I love it. I most yeah. definitely agree with yeah. that. Now, uh, what about now? What about like the crime and the violence? Because you know, y'all had shows like the first Forty Eight, which put the the the, the darker mm -hmm. side of Memphis on the map. I'm from Nashville, so I always hear about the the violence and crime and stuff in Memphis. Man, is, is that a real thing in Memphis, or is that just a, like a fairy tale? Oh man, ain't no secret. We had attitudes down there. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. We we live out the principle. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we don't care about it. You get murked over a penny mm -hmm. if it's a principle just because you play it with me. You see mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like if you know that you owe me a penny, mm -hmm. put it this way: if you owe me a penny and you don't got the penny, and then you run and tell a nigga, "My fuck her, forget mm -hmm. her. I ain't gonna yeah. pay her nothing. I ain't gonna. Yeah. It ain't about the penny no more. Mm -hmm. Now it's about you know. Now you playing mm -hmm. with me, and I ain't even had to give you the penny, but I gave it to you, and you out and talking bad. So mm -hmm. yeah, man, Memphis, you gotta you gotta know how to move down there. And I still stay in Memphis. Okay, you still stay a in Memphis. A lot of people move from Memphis, but I'm one of the ones that um, stay in Memphis. My family down there. I don't yeah, know. yeah well, but Chad, I hear you, Chad, but you're not finna run that on us like you still in the goddamn hood. I ain't in the hood. I ain't in the hood. I ain't in the hood. I ain't You in the suburbs, right? You in the suburbs, right? I'm not in the hood. Yeah. But it's still Memphis, you know no, what I'm I saying? I still I drive through the hood. Yeah, though, for sure. You know what I'm saying? I can I can go anywhere. It's I want history, to go right? It's history for you. And these are these are places that you come from. Yeah, I was born in Memphis. You know, now I'm 46 years old. Yeah, there you, <laughs> you go. know what Thank I'm saying? So, <laughs> See, cause where we record at, y'all, it, it's it's nice right here now. Mm -hmm. But I grew up in this area, and this was a very rough area. Mm. It, look, it's gentrification, houses built now, you know what I'm saying? They got these white people walking these dogs yeah, now. Yeah. But before that, this was a very rough neighborhood. And um, now where we live at is out. But we, we record and we come in and 
we don't come in the back way. We we come <laughs> in the way where we grew up at, where we sold drugs, where we was just what we seen and where we live, right? Yeah. So we come and we like to ride through. We just seen a bunch of our old homeboys right mm-hmm. now today that's on a at, at a corner store that we all used to hang at, mm-hmm. and we still see them <clears> right now. And it's just it do something to me too. Like I'm I'm one of those guys. Now I'm gonna move away now. I always I move away, but I love to come back. And I love to come through my area where I grew up at. And I like to just look and see. Because it humbles me. It humbles me. And it makes me appreciative of how far I done came. You know what I'm saying? It makes me pray for them niggas too. As long <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Pretty much as long as you know how to move in Memphis, you know, when you ride, you got to watch your uh, river mirrors, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't be so quick to pull up beside some bad and get to looking at them. You know, like when I drive, I always pull up like this, you know. So okay. I just yeah. see them and they get, yeah. you know, I can see behind yeah. me, you know. So you just know how to move, know how to move in Memphis. How, how did you move? Okay. Fine, right? We know I can hear your story and I can tell that. Fame really wasn't all that to you. Like you was just, you know, you you still was figuring it out. But once fame do come around, hate start coming around. Right? How you moving around at those times? Like because I'm pretty sure that you had your fair share of hate, right? Because you t- you tell them about how to move. Yeah. How did you move then? Like I'm moving now. Mm. Small. The same way I just pulled up here on y'all. Yeah. yeah. Like I'm moving now. Like you the president, y'all. <clears throat> it's like um, I was the only one still clubbing out of everybody. And oh, I was shit. still getting booked in Memphis. Juice used to say all the time, Chat the only person that hit the club <laughs> every week <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and get booked every week yeah. in Memphis. You know what I'm saying? So I just never changed. You know okay. what I'm saying? I never changed. I always been me. And the streets, I got more street love than music love because people know mm. that um, I never changed. The fame... It never really just made me feel no different. Yeah, 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 yeah. You see how I come here, this, the way I am yeah, now, the way yeah. I always been. This is what we like. We're going to yeah. talk about this for the, for the rest of our life. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah I, we fuck with you and yeah. the way that you guys do pull up and conduct business. Yeah. And just be a genuine, per- a, a genuine That's person. That's why I call myself the hood homegirl, you know, because they, they really I do like know me. I like her with these names. They know yeah. me. Um, <laughs> They know me, like, rapping. Trapping, yeah. Um, they know me. They know you. Yeah. <laughs> I want. <laughs> yeah. I want to switch over to a second. Hold on. I'm, I'm gonna switch over to a second. When did you make that decision? When When did you ever go over to Yo Gotti? Um. Okay. So after uh, I was with Juicy and him, and like I said, I was getting booked so many shows, and I didn't never receive a check from the my music. I yeah. was getting plenty of show money. Uh-huh. But I knew that. Was this you know, from Koch? Yeah, it was okay. from Koch. But I didn't know at the time. So mm-hmm. uh, I was asking Juice, like, how I was supposed to get my money? He was like, I don't know, check, get a lawyer. You know what I'm saying? So I got a lawyer, but the lawyer ended up writing that I couldn't talk to Juice and him. Juice and him couldn't talk to me. He really separated us, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know? Damn. And, yeah, and I didn't know it was going to be like that. Really, honest to God, true. When I went through that, that was like one of the hardest times of my life. Cause mm. keep in mind, I'm still a, a female, mm-hmm. and uh, these niggas had put me in the game. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Yeah. I toured with them. I woke up to these niggas. I went to sleep to these yeah. niggas. I, yeah. You know, we did so much things, and uh, it was kind of hard. They had to call me through other people. You know, and I was like, damn. You know, and then I got. To, we was trying to figure it out uh, mm-hmm. about the money. And to the point the lawyer was taking something, I just said, I might forget it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, just fact. drop it. And I just told Paul, just let me go. You know what I'm saying? Just let me go because I was on hold. Because you, know, mm-hmm. you in demand too at this time, right? Yeah, I'm yeah, still most in demand. In, uh, but I couldn't move because I was still signed on papers. Yeah. And uh, my lawyer, the one that stopped everything. Mm-hmm. He the one like, you can't work with her, you can't do this, you can't do that. And they was like, Chad, we want to do your other album, but you can't record her. You got to record down the screen. I'm like, no, I yeah. do another album. Then <laughs> now, you know, yeah, now I'm sure. feeling like, no, uh, uh-uh, just let me go. You know, so now I'm mad. Like, you know, so Paul's like, you know what, Chad, I ain't let nobody go, but I'm gonna let you go because I like you. You okay. know what I'm saying? He said, if you want to be let go, I'm gonna let you go. He's like, but you gonna regret it in the long run. Mm-hmm. And I was like, well, I'd rather just see it in the long run. You know, so from there. Because they taking time. Like you <clears> said, <throat> the the lawyer, you can't record me. You can't be I comfortable. I can't record. Yeah. I can't do verses. I can't do because they still had the clear. They mm-hmm. still, because, you know, yeah. around that time back then, I was getting like 10000 a verse back then. Yeah. So that yeah. was a lot of money. Hell back yeah. Then. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's so, a lot of money uh, now. 
I couldn't do it because um, I was still saying. And mm-hmm. then Pa was like, okay, Chad, we're going to let you go. So from that point on, um, I um I started working with the kids shine high. Ended up bumping to the kids shine rappers. Mm-hmm. Can't fall. Yeah, yeah, we did a fifty-fifty <laughs> joint venture deal, and we did that all dramatized. And then after that, um, I, that's when I started working with y'all guys because I wasn't trying to get stuck in those situations. Yeah, yeah, this yeah, point yeah. No yeah. more. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Like now, I said, now you on point. Now you <laughs> on your shit. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm like, okay, we go. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna make this move. I'm still climbing. Mm-hmm. But Ultimate Revenge ended up dropping after uh, Paul them let me go. So my cousin was able to drop Ultimate Revenge. We got money off that. Uh, so to let y'all know that Ultimate Revenge is an old project, but it's still bump. Yeah. And uh, I did that with Nikia Shine, and I did it with Gotti. Uh, we came out with Bad Influence, 50-50 joint venture. Mm-hmm. And then after that, I was ready for my own label. Facts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Facts. Which called Dime a Dozen ENT, because I was like, it's nothing. It's still called a Dime a Dozen. Let me, yeah. One more question. I like that. You said you you started noticing like like you start asking Juice and then like where the money at? for you right for the college record. What made you wake up and just stay there? Cause you know you touring like you said you touring and you get money right. You going to club getting booked. And I saw over a hundred thousand copies. I know for a fact because uh, I remember Paul telling me that way 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 ahead. You mm-hmm. know, and I was like he's like oh you go you finna get some money, but it never came in. Yeah. Oh, okay. And so once we did find out, it was on Koch. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. Because you know, these my people. So once we find out, it's on them. But I just didn't know at the time, and I guess my lawyer didn't know at the time. So he just kept me away from everybody. Like yeah. we gonna keep you away from everybody because yeah, yeah. we finna fight right now. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. But I ain't like it. You know, I just like forget it. Just let me go. Let me just go. On, yeah. You know, continue to be chat. The business so, side of it. It's crazy. I want to ask you. So you said you start your own uh, uh, label, Dime a Dozen. Yeah. Um, what lessons did you learn uh, uh, from that experience? From from uh, that that experience? From starting your own label? Uh, from starting it from where? I'm just saying, like like like. So you went from an artist, you mm-hmm. went from from an artist to now you got to be the executive. You uh, see what yeah, I'm saying? yeah. Where everything is on you. Like, what lessons did you learn when you made that jump from artist to a uh, label owner? Oh, I learned how to be a boss. You know, I Facts. ended up finding out that I was the ticket. You see what I'm saying? Because yeah. um, the kids shine went in there and they got chicks off me. You mm-hmm. know, your guy that went in there got chicks off me. Mm-hmm. So I found out that I was the ticket. You know, so gotcha. I was like, I could do this myself. Mm-hmm. I don't want to be fifty fifty. I don't want to be positive with nobody yeah. else. I'm gonna do it myself. And I did it. And the first person that gave me a chance was a uh, orphan. It was an orphan distribution. Okay, and I'm I gonna, dropped yeah. the Hood Homegirl album through there, and from then on, you know, just like fuck I it, I'm on my own. Me. Yeah. Like now, I still do the music, but I do not want to be signed. I would freeze to be signed. Okay, yeah. what's the difference? Okay, what's the difference between? Cause you said you you refuse to be signed, right? Yeah. What's the difference between signing to a major being independent? You run shit being independent. You can do what you want to do. You can drop when you want to drop. You already have slow mo- slow motion than no motion because they can stop all your motion. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? You just in control. And it just don't feel good when you have somebody in control of you. And then, you know, sometimes sometime you could be doing your worst sign to somebody and people don't even know it. Mm. Your name would be big, but your um, income would be small. Mm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But mm. when you're independent, you make your own prices. They, like when you sign, they tell you how much you got to uh, charge. Mm-hmm. When you're not signing, you charge what you want to do. Okay. You know, you can have a light bill. Five hundred dollars. You yeah. be like, man, look, what is it? Five hundred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like so, it. Yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying, though. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely see yeah, what you're saying. You're in you more yeah. in control of everything because going through that type of situation for me, like, it's like, like, rap your passion, right? It's it's not your like rap is something that you love, but then once they start putting that business in it. It start making you feel like, damn man, I just want to hoop. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, you know, damn, hobby. I just want to rap, and mm-hmm. now I gotta get in this motherfucker because you know y'all ain't paying me right, yeah, and, and then it, now y'all don't got me against my people. So I, I most yeah, definitely I hear, that, I hear that about the music industry a lot, man. Yeah, they you can end up losing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's why I'm still going so long. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't let another major come along and hold me back. Like I said, I was with good people. Like yeah. now, we still Paul Juice. We still do shows and stuff. Okay, yeah, I see right that. Yeah, now, yeah. I'm, I just was on um, Juicy latest day. I'm, I've been on some of Paul's stuff lately. You know, so. yeah. 
we still friends. You and know that's what a good saying? thing that's that you guys is. still from what twenty something years mm-hmm. and can go through a situation and still be at that point where we still cool. I'm still doing show. We still rocking out with the music. Yeah, because I could have been with some folks that never let me go. You know, then I'd be stuck, and then my name would have just faded on out. So. When, look, Nashville ain't letting your name fade out. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. I tell you, they Hell play your nah. damn music Hell everywhere nah. we go. <laughs> yeah. So that's the difference between independent and major. Okay. Got you. And it's crazy. Yeah. He said Nashville. How has Nashville treated you uh, in your whole evolution in the music Oh, game? man, plenty of shows. Yeah. Plenty yeah. of love. Much For sure. Love. Shout yeah. out Nashville. Much love. Yeah. 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 Y'all fuck with some of the Nashville artists? What Nashville artists y'all fuck um, with? I just did came down here. Um, I'm on to say his name. Damn, what is his name? My Queen's damn, what's his name? Yeah, but like you I came down that. here to do some music with yeah, somebody. Yeah, me, so you do me, him, and Young Buck did it. I okay. can't believe I can't think his name. Oh, okay, so mad at me. What's yeah, we love we, we 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 fuck with Buck too, man. What's yeah. his name that I did that gangster walk? SOS, shout out SOS. Okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we did the gangster walking video down here. Uh, I used to work with Nina Ross, I used to work with a couple, yeah, of yeah. We fuck her. She said Nina yeah, Ross, throwback man. Yeah, yeah. We fuck with we, we fuck with Nina yeah, Ross. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Shit. So you always yeah, she done did some shit with uh Starlito. Yeah, oh yeah. yes, big yeah. Starlito. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. We 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 fuck That's with Starlito good. too. Um, it, uh, real quick, like no, let me go ahead and uh uh go down this road, man. Cause Come on, y'all know, man. Like, so when people tell me to make like a list, right? People mm-hmm. love lists. So if you tell me to make a list of my like top five female rappers, go. Uh, <laughs> Gangsta Boo is one, if not two, right? Yeah. So, and I know you and Gangsta Boo started out same label in the whole nine. Um, what was their relation like? Relationship like um, in the beginning when you first met Boo? Were you a fan? Were you like? What was it? What was that like? Um, when uh, I first met Boo, um, she was thirteen. I was fourteen. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I was a big fan. You know, y'all see. see I, I thought you was the baby. Yeah. No. I did. I don't know why. Yeah, I just no, thought I, she I, was the baby. Yeah, yeah. Yes, so I'm the oldest. Yeah. Okay, but um, but we still end up being the same age uh, mm-hmm. for a couple of months. But um, she was 13. I was 14, and um, she was already there. But I was there too. We we really been there like the same amount of time. Okay, and um. I came in as a gangster boo fan, you know. But of course, you know, boo was used to being the only female, mm-hmm. and um. It took a minute. It took a minute. You know, I ain't gonna act like everything peaches and cream, and I tell you about it. You know, we used to bump heads a whole lot, and then um, she ended up seeing that I was, you know, real. That I okay. I had her back, and that I was there, you know, to yeah. support her and be there for. Her, and mm-hmm. we ended up being the best of sisters. Mm, yeah, best of sisters all the way to the day that she died. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She was mm. there in Memphis. Me, her, Crunchy Black, and Drummer Boy. Was doing a video. It's called "I'm a Mac." It's out right now. Mm-hmm. That's her purpose even coming to me because she was standing in LA. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know, and uh, it was the holidays. She ended up staying longer than what she supposed to have stayed, but she was having so much fun that she stayed. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it ended up happening. You remember that phone call? Man, you know, I remember. First of all, I can show y'all my text message. I mean, this girl texts and talk every day, mm-hmm. like, nonstop. Um, she had called me that night. Cause she was at a Bali MJG concert, which I was supposed to have went with her, but I ended up having something else going on on mm-hmm. the boat for New Year's Eve. And she called me and was like telling me about her brothers, and mm-hmm. her brother was uh, in the hospital. I was like, "What happened?" She was like, "I don't know," but his ass, ooh, she was going out. She was so mad. I was like, oh, "Okay, well, just call me." You know, I can show you the text. What my phone? Is. Mm-hmm. Because it's crazy. Dying as deep. Yeah, it's crazy that this. I'm telling you, like we talk. Cause like I remember that. while you look for it, I'm gonna say I'm gonna speak because I remember growing. Well, not well at this time when you guys was hot. I I remember rumors coming out where like they was trying to put you guys against each other. Yeah, yeah, like that was something <laughs> that I remember um, hearing. Not a lot of it either, though, right? Yeah. But through the wind, <laughs> through the wind, they'll try to say that. But for you to say that um, that you guys. That it wasn't all good, but it got good, and yeah, just, she it, realized yeah. that you know yeah. both of y'all had each other which is, back. Which is understandable when somebody's That's already how I did there. This nigga. When somebody there, you then you bring in a new person. It's just natural to get ter- territorial. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying with your shit. It's like, nah, I was here first. I was territorial. Who is this new? Who is this new person? You feel me? <laughs> But that's yeah. dope, though, that you even that you guys was even going back and forth. Was you on messages. the uh, Inquiring Minds album? 
No, nah, I wasn't. That's okay. why I said I was a fan. Okay. You know, yeah. Mr. Yeah. Styles said I already came along, but like mm-hmm. I said, I wasn't taking the series. Oh, got you. Got, got you. Got you. Got you. Okay, yeah. so if y'all can see these messages right here, mm-hmm. keep in mind she died on uh, New Year's Day. So, you know, we've been talking. That's the 30th, you know, uh, yeah. the New Year's Eve. She was like, uh, she was at the hospital, and I'm like, OMG, what hospital you at? She was talking about her brother. She ended up calling me, because I'm like, where you at? So she ended up calling me. Mm-hmm. And um, and what day did she pass? New Year's Day. So oh, I text man. her at 2.41. I was like, hey, how is he? That's her brother. Yeah, yeah. And when I ain't getting no response, that means she was gone. Yeah. Mm. And you then you got saying? the phone so call. I got the phone call that she had passed, and uh, they said she was still on the porch where she had passed in Memphis, and I couldn't believe it. You yeah. know, I couldn't believe it. I called Juice, I called Paul, uh, and I had to go down there. Yeah. I just had to. Um, me and Crunchy, we went down there, mm. and, you know, it was just unbelievable. Yeah, most definitely. R.I.P. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gangsta yeah. Boo so forever. Like, yeah, one of the hardest, man. Yeah, we love Gangsta Boo. One of the hardest, man. Hardest, Loyal, man. crazy. She got a crazy oh, loyalty. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. Give me a Gangsta Boo story. Yeah, Something yeah, to make yeah, you yeah. smile. Oh, okay. So I always say to people that she always used to say, what would chat do? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she said, I used to need a T-shirt <laughs> or some braces or something because I motivated her and she motivated me in so mm-hmm. many ways. And she'll call me and be like, okay, chat. Okay, look, I got this situation. Okay, like, um, I don't know if I want to tell the same story or not because I just did an interview. Oh, but, any trip. Okay, well, I, <laughs> okay, she was out of town and um, they had a day party and um, they, the dude didn't make the money. Mm-hmm. But he had told her if she stay over at night, she can make the money. Okay. And so she called me, was like, okay, Chad, I need a woman. Chad, do you busy? I was like, no, nah, I ain't busy. She said, okay, he ain't make my money, but he want me to stay the night. So what would you do? I said, well, boo, you know, I'll stay. You know, just a whole day. If you leave, you leave with nothing. True. If you stay, you know, you get your money. Yeah. I said, ain't nothing but uh, the rest of the day. You know what I'm saying? You probably end up staying the rest of the day. Anyway, anyway yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, right, right. She's yeah. like, that's what I'm talking about. That's why I call you. Be like, what would chat that do? Yeah, you know, like, like she'd have a little dude for him. She'd be like, okay, all right, wait a minute. We was talking, you know, he ain't text me. What should I do? Chat, yeah. what would chat do? I just text him, say, what's so handsome? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> oh, you got a like, guy, little charmer. She like, Text him, uh, what's up, handsome? She like, see, you can tell me the rest of the real. The other yeah. folks be like, I'm be studying him. I'm like, girl, if you like him, don't you let him go. You know, yeah. so we used to do stuff like that. Like, boo is funny, and she's crazy. She, mm. She'll throw a drink in a bra face so fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Attitude is like. I didn't get to meet boo, but. I remember a couple occasions her coming up to Nashville. I don't know if you remember Cat's music. I remember she came yeah. up to Cat's mm-hmm. music. Shout out C Wiz yeah, too. When she C-Wiz. was doing her uh Acquiring Minds promotion run, promo run. And then of course verses, right? <laughs> with her on the mic yeah, uh, when they yeah, were fighting yeah, 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 and yeah, she yeah. was saying man y'all some yeah. dope ass yeah. niggas man yeah. I just love I was like oh man I love yeah, yeah. I love Memphis. that cause it's that accent right. but I love Gangsta Boo Gangsta Boo was so I like whoever gave her that mic keep get, like <laughs> she's supposed to have that mic that whole time because mm-hmm. she most definitely made it do um, you um, do you still B. talk to uh, uh, Crunchy yeah, me and Crunchy yeah. got an album out called Hood. We just okay. dropped it last year. Okay, and shout we're out working Crunch. on Hood too. So y'all make sure y'all go check. See, it. see, you ain't done. Yeah. See, you come yeah. in, you come yeah. in. You said you was kind of little playing with it, mm-hmm. but the more we hear, we go down these timelines. Yeah, you dropping stopped. music? Nah, no, no, I'm for stopped. real. Even when I did my research, I was like, oh Look, shit, she yeah. dropped 2012, 2014, 2018. I see 2015. You did what? Murder, Murder. She wrote two, right? Yeah, I'm for real now. Murder. She spoke. No, I never stopped. I got um seven mixtapes out, you yeah. know, and I ain't no telling how many solo albums. I just never stopped. You doing. still look good too, girl. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You still got that fire. You still got that fire inside yeah. you to keep keep doing do you ever see yourself uh stop doing uh not doing music? No, I don't see it. You know, yeah, um, man. I want to get into movies, but of course, the movies gonna lead to soundtracks. Yeah. Matter of fact, I got a reality way. show that I'm working on. It's called Me and My Boyfriend. Uh, got me and Go Ape, and it's basically gonna be, you know, y'all. Go Ape, your boyfriend? Yeah, Go Ape, my That's boyfriend. That's what's up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He so. got you cheesing. <laughs> look how it look. Crying like a motherfucker yeah. when she so said every go to she got, though, <laughs> when she say go. Yeah. Hey, look. <laughs> yeah, God damn it. How you meet, how, how long y'all been talking? Uh, we've been knowing each other 10 years. Okay. So, uh, 
I used to do open mics, uh, the biggest open mics in Memphis. I did them for five years, mm-hmm. you know. He used to come through, uh, do open mic and all that. So I had stopped doing open mics. Then we ended up running back across each other because mm-hmm. I had already scoped them. But you know, yeah. you already scoped them. Yeah, I scoped what you them. mean? I know yeah. what you mean by that. Get yeah. get a word. What you mean by you scoped them? I scoped them. Like one day I was like, oh, okay, go up County Cute. Yeah. That's it. You know, that's so it. I so you did that. Okay, but, left uh, it that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so we ran uh, back across each other like six years after that, mm-hmm. and then uh, we stopped flirting, and then we really didn't hit it off. But then you know we end up hitting it off. That's what's up. That's though. good shit. Yeah. Black so you, love is good. I love it, man. You probably should propose to that man, Chad. Yeah, you should propose. I to should him. propose. <laughs> yeah, him. ain't no why wrong. Not? Ain't no wrong with yeah. a woman proposing. Why, why, he, got, why he shouldn't propose I mean, to he, me? He, he might yeah, will, yeah, but yeah. what? What about if you want it more? Like not want it more, but what about if you think about it first? I told my girl that I was like, "What, babe, what about if you think about it? if you thought about it first? Just I know do it. She just said do it. No, just no, do she got on her knees. She went to go bought a ring, but she bought a PS Five. <laughs> <Well>, my <laughs> engagement ring was a PS Five. I don't see no wedding ring on your because it's my my engagement ring was a PS Five. It didn't go through. No, I'm playing. That I'm mean, playing. it didn't work. <laughs> no, I'm playing. I think tradition supposed to work. It's supposed no, to be I a man. Yeah. I love it. But like, her girl did propose to him and he said no. He man, in he New like, York. You know what I'm saying? Don't believe, I'm like, I don't believe him, man. I want to ask you that. Okay, him. so on tour, right? Mm-hmm. Well, just not even on tour. Just when you coming up and you're doing your music, then you're doing your music and you, you know, highlight it and you're being recognized for what you're doing. Was dating hard? I actually been married twice. So dating really not hard for me. I'm a loyal woman. So, you mm. know, um I, I see I, 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 love I, I can see that. I can see that. I love marriage. You know, I want to be somebody's responsibility. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I don't <laughs> Talk to these like that. What go that man? I like that. Talk to these I was married when I was sixteen, unfortunately. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah my mama, like I said, I was running the streets, yeah. wanted to do what I wanna do, and my mom's like, You ain't gonna get me in trouble. Mm-hmm. And so she took me out of school, and um, she signed for me and my child father to get married. He was okay. 18. I was like, well, he was 17, turned 18. 18, yeah. So, you know, this ain't no minor. No, I like how you live. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm listening yeah. to you <laughs> believe in love. You she believe in love. Like, she said, hold on, nigga. She said, ain't no minor type shit. He look like a lawyer, yeah. so hold on. <laughs> <laughs> she said 18 to 16, even mm-hmm. I was like, wait, yeah. check. No, 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 no. Let me, let me, no, get, it. Let me get it right. Let me get it right. <laughs> yeah, so you for are, sure. You know what I'm saying? We have been dating since I was like 13, young girl, yeah, 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 you yeah. know, running the streets. And um, my mom signed me to get married. We six, I was 16. He was 17, but he turned 18, mm-hmm. so he wouldn't have to have no signature. And uh, my mom had to sign for me. And I was married then. And yeah. then um, I got divorced. And um, I got married again. Mm-hmm. And I stayed married like mm, eight years. I was with the dude 13 years, and I got divorced again because I don't yeah. play that shit. You keep your shit private. Yeah, I keep it private. Well, I'm public now, but I keep it private, mm-hmm. though. That's what I'm saying. Like when you pub, like a public <laughs> figure like you, right? Mm hmm. How do you keep your life like private like that? Because well, back then we didn't have, we wasn't so fast to access to social media, right? Mm-hmm. Now social media is so fast; mm-hmm. they want to know who you dating. Because it's a lifestyle now. Like back when I was growing up, seeing you guys was real big to me because I only get to listen to you guys, mm-hmm. and the only time I get to see you guys is on the box rap city. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But now I can go on, I can go on Instagram. I can go on Facebook mm-hmm. and I can see mm-hmm. your lifestyle. How you keep it like how did how did you keep it private when you going through these relationships? Now, the relationship didn't have nothing to do with that music. It didn't have nothing to do mm-hmm. with the industry. Mm-hmm. You know, so when I went to work, just like when he go to work, when they go to work, I ain't had nothing to do with yeah. their job. They ain't had nothing to mm-hmm. do with my job. So it was easy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know? mm-hmm. No. Hey, what's up? My girl working my girl at the studio. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, my girl, it. my girl going on tour today, homie. What's up? What's your girl doing? Yeah. Your girl cooking. Yeah. No, my girl going on a tour. No, but that really didn't mean nothing to them. You know, everybody yeah. got divorced now. You know what I'm saying? So that didn't you know, it was a big deal probably for the beginning till they found out that I wasn't normal or regular. I'm what not you go, mean you're not normal or regular? I'm not going to sit up here and put up with what you want me to put up with. You know what I'm saying? You either go get it right or you're mm. going to get gone. Now, I done had, all my relationships been long term. Okay. Yeah. But at some point, I'm going to leave because I feel like I'm not going to waste time trying to wait on you to get it right with somebody out here waiting on me that can get it right. You True. know what I'm saying? I can't. I I'd rather be um, 
happy than to have 20 years miserable. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just say, oh, we've been together this long, but mm. is you happy this long? I don't play yeah. that shit. Are you happy now? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm very happy. Yeah. <laughs> you don't see the way she smiles like when she said, like uh, go in the coat I like that. Yeah, I like I'm that. Happy. So, look, Chad, when it's all said and done, man, what do you want people to know you as or know about Chat? What What do you want your legacy to be? Uh, I want them to know that I'm a mother. You know, I got one son. He bad as hell. He grown up. Okay. Uh, he's 28 now. Um, one son that do <laughs> could he just take a, he could have been a million children. Yeah. But shout out, shout out, Scrosser, shout out, Scrosser, though. Cause one thing about it being a, a celebrity mom, mm -hmm. that what y'all need to have a conversation about. How is it like to be a celebrity well, father? You, you just, huh? yeah, well, hold yeah, on, you yeah. just hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. You just ask, okay, so we're gonna yeah. go back and we yeah. and the interview's gonna ask that question. Yeah. How is it being yeah. a celebrity mom? And so when y'all talk to other celebrities, ask them too. Yeah, yeah. I call yeah. one right. some more people. Uh, yeah. It's hard because our children think money grown trees. Most of them, I got a one year old thinking. So and yeah. Then, <laughs> okay. And then it's like a certain standard that you got to keep your child up to, even though you're trying to make them get their own money, get mm -hmm. their own this and that. Mm -hmm. And they just won't do it. So you still got to make sure they get the Camaros and they get the beans and they get the, the it's hard. Oh, I, I like this. I ain't even think going. about that, but yeah. it's true. Oh, yeah, it's like, true. Like, like Lil Chad's son can't drive a fucking Honda Civic. Yeah. No, that's Lil yeah. Chad's son. You know that's Lil Chad's son. So yeah. we're, gonna, we're, gonna lay, we're gonna roast them. And the yeah. children if, take if advantage the of it. They take advantage of the situation <laughs> of us being celebrities. And yeah. you know, they, they have phone bills that they don't even wanna pay. They don't wanna yeah. pay nothing. Cause they feel like you gonna pay it, you know. What I mean, saying? I so, feel like that. I ain't gonna lie. Listen, yeah, I ain't gonna but lie. But hold on, listen. I know that's wrong, but I'm gonna tell you this. I'm I'm grow I'm growing up right, and not that TV raised me, but TV helped raise me, right? Mm. And I I watch the box. <laughs> I watch Rap City. I watch Jenny Jones shows, mm -hmm. and YouTube is something that you can go back on and watch all this old stuff, right? I'm watching my mama. I'm seeing my, the success, the lifestyle of my mama. Yeah. <laughs> Hell no, nah, I don't want no Honda. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, I, I want a pin. <laughs> and my mama on the road. Look. Because yeah, yeah. he can call now, mama, where you at? I got to go Nashville. You see what I'm saying? So my mama been on the road for the last 28 years. So at times, not, not that I'm saying that I agree with, with, well, with, with this. Because it's hard. They never grow up. Mm. It's like they never grow up. That's why when you see um celebrities... And say like children, they children look successful, but not. Yeah, they be yeah, successful yeah. off what we doing. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Because it's like it's a certain standard that we have to keep up for our children. Did you ever say no? <laughs> See, so so you could don't solo. You didn't say hold on, hold on, hold on. I wish I did. Yeah. But you, how can you, you say no? You didn't say a lot of no's. You just said probably about two no's a year. I never said no. And I don't like it. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So because it's but hard. that's the only one though. Yeah, that's it. I would have did it for five. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Because yeah. that's what you got to do. Yeah. It's like if you got it or if you able, it's a certain type of standards that you want. Even though we want to teach them to work, mm -hmm. we want to teach them to get their own money, we want to teach them to do that. They don't want to do that. They going to live that's up That's why you money. go so hard. That ain't why I go so hard. I be mad. <laughs> I be mad. <laughs> but you put down it though. But you put down it though. You say you don't say yeah. no. But you still love him to death. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, mean. I love him to death. I love my son yeah. to death. He just grown and spoiled. Yeah, and he, just yeah. he like, grown and spoiled. That's the best way to be, though. See, nah, look, now nah, the best way to be, I, honestly, because um, like, so I don't have my parents anymore. So for your son, Sorry, it, your it's, it's 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 best to go ahead and be spoiled. Lean on mom. I say that all the time. Lean on mama and dad and give everything you can get out mama of them. Was you? Yeah. And man. I thought, if my mama was you, and I thought I was a rapper. Guess what I'm gonna tell you? I'm gonna say, mom, man, call Juicy J. I mean, I'm just saying, cause you go look at your parents, man. LeBron James' son, Bronny, man. That man knew probably five years ago, man. Man, I'm probably gonna go to the NBA, man. I'm gonna want my dad to kind of navigate me through mm -hmm. these doors. You know what I'm saying? So I, I most definitely, that is a serious topic. But he grown now. Say for instance, yeah. I found bills on the same bill, and you just a little bit of found bill. Yeah. Like, pay your found bill. My mama, look, chat, what I'm paying for? Oh, yeah, that's, I'm, that's my argument. You know, you like, when what? women get Listen, when women get <laughs> men with money, right, some women will say, you know what, if they supervise and make them mad, I don't need this job anyway. My nigga got money. 
<laughs> right? No. That's what I'm going to say about my mom. What? Yeah. Man, fuck that. But he act like he's saying something bad. right. My mom a little check. You a little phone bill. Yeah. A little phone bill <laughs> nah, that you, you don't want to pay. Hey, little check line go a long But you don't want to pay the little phone bill, though. That's hilarious. Nah, man. The check line. Oh. It's your hard being mom? a celebrity mom because they never yeah. grow up. You never, your job will never end. You know, so it's a certain standard that you'll have to keep them in. It is though. You know, I he, feel you he, on that. My son grown and I feel you. he'll never be home. I'm, I'm just gonna be real. Even though he gets on my nerves, mm -hmm. and I wish that he, you know, I never want him. I, I tried to make him real when we was growing up. So y'all can look at um, I rock Jays. Them, my son. Astro Duke and Miss Angel. But uh -huh. I took him out of it because I really didn't want him to get in, especially like now. Mm. Yeah. They got so much beef stuff going on. Yeah, and I just feel yeah. like they was going to hate on him. But um, if he ain't doing the rap stuff, he just don't want to grow up. And yeah. so, I ain't going to My mama lie. little chat. <laughs> what do you say? Fuck I ain't going to lie. He'll never be homeless. He'll Most never, definitely. But I shouldn't be saying this because he might see this and then start taking advantage of it. You know, he already know this. He uh, know this. He know he's he gonna, he's this. gonna always keep a good, good will. You know, he's gonna always keep the ladies, whatever, yeah. whatever. But it's hard being a celebrity. But that also that also shows how much uh, his mom works. His how hard you know what I'm saying what his mom got to do to 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 keep these things up because you on the road, you tour still, you still drop music. Mm -hmm. So uh, at still times shiny. it might look. Like, and not saying that he's selfish, but it, sometimes people might look at things, but I bet you he knows the hard work and that, that you the, the things oh, that yeah. you got to put in. Yeah. yeah. Because I'm going, I'm, I am going to brag on my mom a little bit. Oh, I've been I'm saying brag he's my on biggest that. fan. Yeah, I got to, I got to brag yeah, on that. To. He's my biggest he's fan. He's supposed to. Absolutely. But it's Man. hard being a celebrity parent. I'm pretty sure the next people y'all see at the table, make sure y'all Yeah, we're going to ask Yeah. Yeah. We'll hey, we're going to say, no, we're going to yeah. say, little chat won't know this. Little chat won't know, man. That repertoire. Because I want to know, is it normal? You know, it I ain't know, normal. Do, do, <laughs> I I suppose, do I supposed to be going through this? Or, you know, yes. do everybody go yeah, through this? Or it's just I, Master I, I would have no, to ask the question, go. but I would guess that, yeah, the kids. Romeo got, was just kids talking are, about yeah. Master P. Mm -hmm. 50 Cent Son was just. 50 Cent Son said $7,500. He said, My daddy give me $7,500 a month, and it ain't enough. You see That's what I'm saying? <laughs> and, 50, <laughs> and everybody was like, Bro, $7,500, <laughs> and they you don't got to do nothing? They never satisfied. <laughs> So, and Romeo, what Romeo said about Master P, Romeo said, he was like, man, my daddy been living in the same mansion for 20 years. Like, he just, like he was mad that his dad living in the mansion for 20 like years. Like, that was a bad thing. Yeah, but, <laughs> so, you see, so you see the way the entitlement sometimes can come yeah, crazy. So, back to answer the question you said, I want people to know about yeah. me. Um, I want people to know that I'm a good mother. Uh, I'm a good, great sister. Like I said, I was the baby of four boys, Um, now three boys. Uh, I got a brother, shout out Woman Omen. Uh, he paralyzed from the neck down. I okay. take care of him. That's I brought up. him home from the nursing home and took care of him. And uh, he's been paralyzed 12 years. He do music also. Um, no, nah, that's what's up. I want people to know that I'm a great daughter. And I want people to know I put my foot in this game. Okay. You know nah. what I'm saying? Most definitely you did that. No, nah, yeah. I love it. I love it, Chad. What's, what's next for you, little Chad? Oh, man, you know, right now I'm having fun with it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And it's different now. It's easy now. Back then, you felt like you had to do it. Yeah. You know, it's a much you had to do it. So now, uh, do I didn't Do they take put... away from your craft sometimes when you feel like you got to do it? No, I don't because, you know, um, it's easy. Okay. That's what you do anyway. Like, I actually have a conversation in my music. Like, say, for instance, I'm sitting up here talking and yeah. I can write a rap. About us sitting here at this table, so the craft is easy. Okay, mm, okay, yeah. Okay. So makes sense. it makes sense. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right, it makes you. sense. It's like motherfucker who can shoot a jumper. <laughs> I can shoot a jumper. Like, yeah, like I just easy. don't like yeah. the politics <laughs> of shooting this jumper. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's easy. yeah. Like, shooting a jump is the easy it's part. The easy so part. that's what she's saying. Like rapping, writing the fucking rap is the easy part. Yeah, because it's like having a conversation. That's, That's what's crazy. up, man. I like to say this is yeah. what we started this podcast for because we want to get behind the music. We like to talk, go on the journey, um, and just um, share our stories and highlight our moments mm -hmm. that we all need. Our cash, we all already know what we did, yes, man. Sir, we brought the queen. You already know to the forefront to highlight, talk about the music, yeah, the journey. Yeah, I'll, 
Yeah, I ain't ho. even get to the. <laughs> yeah, ho. Can I say this before? Can I say this before I, before I stop this? Yeah. You got the best ad libs <laughs> in this world. How many times are people? How many times are people read you? Yeah, ho. Nah, I can't. Is. I can't take the credit for that. Okay. Miss Yeah, ho is gangsta boo. Okay. But don't you say Miss Ying no. Ye no. no, you know what I'm saying? Yo, so, yeah, I say, uh, yeah, ho, yeah, but it originally come from Gangsta, Gangsta Boo. Boo, yeah, and but, I'm the one that told her, my should call yourself, uh, Miss Yeah, ho. And so, if you look on her Twitter and Instagram, uh-huh. she got herself, Miss Yeah, ho. Yeah, ho. okay, yeah, nah, because that's, that's where it originally came from, mm-hmm. uh, but I yeah. said too, because you know, we Memphis, motherfuckers, yeah, yeah. same, shit. yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, so, speaking of uh, Twitter and all that, tell the people how they can find you on social media, most and, definitely, and, and, and get and support your, your movement. Okay, my Twitter is the real chat, D A R E A. L L A C H A T. Mm-hmm. Uh, my Instagram is Luchat L A C H A T underscore I G. Um, my Facebook is Luchat Ying No. It's L A C H A T Ying No. <laughs> and Snapchat, I think it's nine on one chat. I think that's TikTok. Now yeah. I don't want chat. See, I'm really not good at this stuff. I, <laughs> yeah. Boo, like, boo put me on it. Boo put me on MySpace, all this stuff. Oh, she was okay. like, all the so, like when social media. Yeah, was like, real. I be, life be yeah. lifing. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, y'all got to think about it. Back then, we was doing it. We really had a social yeah. media. Nah, we really, hell no. Nah. We really got it from the mud. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, For sure. of course, you see it now. These people making way more money than we was making mm-hmm. and doing it way more bigger than we was doing it, which is a good thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But us, we got it from the mud. We had to get out. We had to put out posters. We had to do all the Yes, things. a lot of groundwork. Yeah, a lot of we, ground had to, work. we had to do footwork. We had to go to city to city. Mm-hmm. And lines used to be wrapped around yeah. the building and mm-hmm. sign autographs. Yes. And, um... And build your fan, fan by yeah, fan. Yeah, so we gained our fans honestly. So that's that's not by saying. like a follow. That's what you call I like legendary. That. I like that's that. That's what you call fun. legendary. Y'all, look. We really had to put in hard work. We had to do three six teams and one of such thing as an eight bar in the hook and yeah, we yeah, platinum. Yeah, 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 yeah. We had to that's write three fun. verses that were 16 bars, mm-hmm. period. Mm-hmm. No, no, you know. Yeah. No. 17 stuff. songs. Mine, 23. <laughs> yeah, 20, yeah. 20, 20, look, 20 something songs. Yeah. Three uh sixteens hook. Mm-hmm. It's a lot. It's a lot to go in. So we really got it from the mud. You know what that I'm saying? Is, that, so, that's that is a truth. I got it from the mud. Yeah, I want to shout out Big Phil too. He a big uh guy from Nashville. So, All right, shout, shout out, out what's Big up, Phil. Big Phil. Shout out and C Wiz. C Wiz. C Wiz. We fuck with C Wiz. C Wiz. Legend. C Wiz is a legendary. C Wiz play um. Uh, he when I was coming into the club scene when I was a young age, he most definitely played uh, Memphis. Yeah, he, he played Memphis and Houston. That's what uh, mm-hmm. Memphis and Texas. And he would put a lot of Memphis on his mixtape. Right? Yeah, most yeah. definitely he did. Yeah. So y'all already know, man. We got Queen in here, Lil Chat, biggest of the biggest. Uh, came through, killed it, dope conversation. Y'all already know what it's I'm going to so tell sweet. y'all, man. My boy, you know what I'm saying? My name is Lano Wixie. I'm going to tell everybody this, man. Get money, stay true, stay true, get money. And listen, y'all, if nobody told you today that they love you, let me be the first one to tell you that I love you, I love you, I love you, y'all. We out of here. Peace. Peace. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> 